Hi everybody, it's Jeff Upper back with Doug Wicks and we're talking about a mission in life. And the last time we were with you, we talked about how you might prepare to go to someplace new and different. And um, I want to segue here, Doug, into the idea of a team. We know that professional golfers now often have a team behind them, a big team sometimes. In fact, I was uh, recently talking to somebody about this who said, you know, the average person may not realize how much of a team is there in uh, the Christian life and in the work that we might do on behalf of Christ, we have a team. We, we right. call it the Absolutely. body of Christ, we work together. And one of the big components there is prayer. Yeah. Um, missionaries are known for having uh, prayer cards that they give to people or prayer magnets that right. you can put on the fridge. That's right. I'm praying for the Wixes, I'm praying yeah. for whomever else that I might be supporting out there. And they know they need prayer. Isn't yeah. that right? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm, we, we came from a little church in Huntington Beach. It's about 200 people. And we were so um, supported and lifted up by uh, really little ladies and couples who really wanted to do what we did and wanted to be a part of it. And their way to do that was simply on their knees at home praying for us. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting, you can go in that way, even though you're not physically traveling. Right. That's right. Isn't that right? That's right. Yeah. So if I suddenly, should I, is this something I should do every time I feel like I have a new calling in life or I'm going someplace new, I should get my friends praying for me? Well, you think that would be a good idea, <laughs> right? Yeah. So I think, unfortunately, we, we often pray when we're desperate. Yeah, and rather than making that the top of our of our list, um, our organization we work for, we actually the, I, I'm I'm with the seed company. We have a, a team of prayers. Good. Literally, it's their job to pray. Wow, and wow. and to organize prayer, and uh, we we just see that as a critical element of yeah. of our ministry. Yeah, yeah, cool. I know that. It's interesting you say that, that sometimes we pray when we're desperate and mm. sometimes it's more important to have. Uh, I spent a couple of years on the mission field as well. I guess this is part of my story coming out. And um, we had obviously friends who had said, we're praying for you. And they mm. prayed for us the whole, we were there almost two years doing a teaching sort of mission and uh, they prayed the whole time. But about six weeks into our time there, um, we had a missionary in the organization who was killed in an airplane crash, um, and two others as well. And his wife was the principal of the little school that I was teaching at. Mm. So there was significant impact to our day-to-day -day lives and the whole mission community there, which was 100 people, there was a hospital there and some other things. And boy, that it was so good in that time of real mm. desperate need to already have the team in place. Right and say, okay, we have a heightened need. Can you step it up during this yeah. time? Sometimes you, I wonder if God even uh, intentionally puts those difficult things into our life so that we will come together and pray. Yeah, of course. You know, so, um, but having a team there already is, uh, to me, is what sustained us. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know that's true on the golf side with these professionals that they have a team not so much for the weeks they win. It's right. for the weeks that are difficult and challenging and the months and sometimes seasons, whole seasons. That's right. And they sit down with that team and say, what was going on here? Let's figure it out together. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and sometimes the, the team does very mundane, simple things. I mean, a caddy simply lining up the, uh, the golfer on the tee to make sure that their, their alignment is right. right. I mean. Which won't be legal here. In a few weeks, yeah. Well, well it isn't yeah, legal well, on, now. On the range, I'm, I was but, thinking of, but right. you know, on the range, hopefully, it's still sure, legal. Sure, absolutely. Right? Yeah, in the warm yeah. up. So, yeah, yeah, that help to get things right. But that's right. Um, at the end of, or at the beginning, actually, I should say, of Colossians, Paul invited people to pray for him. Yeah. Um, in fact, for his traveling team, because he always traveled with the team. But he said to the Colossians these things. He said, "Pray for us." that God may open the door 
for our message. Amen. And so we can always be praying for one another that Amen. wherever we go through our days, through the seasons of our life, that we will have it, these people supporting us uh, in prayer. So that yeah. that's a great thing. Yeah. Well, it was good to be with you, and we'll be back next time.